Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am just a random fangirl, but you can also call me Libby. And this time we're going to be reacting to Oshinako Season 1, Episode number 6... 5... 6... Pretty sure it's 6! <laughs> the halfway point of the of this first season and it has been really really amazing i i've been enjoying all of it i i guess that this is one of those shows that you think that it's going in a certain direction and then something happens and you're like oh okay so this is going to go in this other direction and then does but it does not really so you're like you never quite know which direction it's going to take but it's taking all of the directions at once because yeah okay my first impression was oh okay this is an idol show and it is it is like i'm not really sure if i i should call it an idol show because actually i've never seen uh an anime that's about idols or any stuff like that like i have very little knowledge about anything of that world so i'm not really sure if i should call it an idol anime because it is but it also really isn't it's more about the the industry as a whole because we've been seeing these um live action drama adaptations and we have seen a little bit of the mangakas and what they go through and the actors and the idols and you know it's just a lot of showbiz kind of stuff so there is just a lot of information a lot of the time which is just really really interesting so okay yeah the the anime is about that but it is also a murder mystery. It's like a who done it, but also a how we are getting revenge. So it's a revenge story and it's also a who did it. Who done it. So that is really interesting, but at the same time it's you know, it has a lot of comedic moments and just I I probably wouldn't say coming of age because our main characters are reborn, so they are older. I guess that you could say that uh, Ruby or well Sabrina was she was not even fifteen when she died the first time, right? But even then, she's she's in high school, so mentally she should be around. 28 years old more or less give or take and then our main character aqua he is he was already a doctor pretty young but he was still a doctor so that is i don't know maybe on his mid 30s when the show started so he is almost 45 48 maybe a little bit more uh in this new second life so i couldn't necessarily ca call it a coming of age or a high school drama because it has all of the elements of those genres but it's neither of them because there are a lot of things going on a, a lot of stories a lot of characters and yeah it's just really interesting so anyway last episode aqua was starring into this um dating show which was hilarious uh just watching the reactions of ruby and kana watching this show and aqua being a completely different person than his usual than than his usual self and us the audience getting explained how this dating dating shows work i've never seen one i know about the existence of some of these shows like i i think that i said it last episode but i think that the one is called called the bachelor and i kind of know what it's about but i've never seen one so it is really interesting to know more about all these different genres of 
movies, of adaptations, of reality TV. I don't know, it's really interesting to know about the industry. And yeah, so I am guessing that we are going to see a little bit more about this um, dating experience that Aqua is having. I don't know, maybe it will be good for him to just, you know, get himself out there, meet new people. Not all in life, it's about revenge, Aqua. <laughs> but um, like, he's doing a good job. Maybe he can form some connections, which is really important because he is still in denial about, you know, being an actor or just being in the industry as a whole, which is really interesting, but... But... <laughs> But he's still there, more than anything for the information. So I also want to see if in this episode we are going to meet again with the guy that's... I think that he's a producer on this show, right? He's not like a writer, I'm not, I'm not sure. But you know, the guy that we're investigating right now and that has some information about, you know, who I was dating before the murder occurred. So that is really interesting. And what else? What else? Well, I don't know, because he said that he was going to give Aqua the information, but he first had to be on the show, so I'm guessing that until the show is finished, we are not getting that information. And even then, I'm not really sure how... <laughs> how good of an information it is so but anyway that is the only lead that we have and then on to ruby uh aqua basically all but well not blackmailed but you know he he used his charming abilities on kana so she would be you know in this idol group with Ruby and he's really protective over Ruby and yeah he does some things that maybe are not uh, amazing morally speaking but you know he's just trying to look out for her he's a really good brother <laughs> and the fact that Ruby is Sabrina like, that is just a whole other layer of feelings and I just keep hoping that at some point they are going to realize who each other are and I don't know, that would be so heartwarming because they've been through so much together in the last life and in this life as well. So I just want them to be happy. And... What else? Oh yeah, so Kana is in this group with Ruby, but there are the only two ones. So we have... I'm not really sure how many people need to be in an idol group to be considered an idol group, but I'm guessing that it's about five people, maybe? More or less? But we have Kana and we can trust her. She works really hard, she knows about the industry, she's really cute, and I just love Kana. Kana has my whole heart. So I am really glad that we are seeing more of her because I was kind of, you know, not scared, but I was kind of dreading that we were not going to see her as much when her arc ended but now that she is in the group with ruby we are going to see a lot of her so that I, i'm i'm just really happy about that and yeah so they participated in this youtube video with one of the top earners of the company and i think that his name was uh, pia Yon which you know that was amazing i hope that there were like some channels like that because that is motivation to work out i love his channel <laughs> and his energy and the fact that they did do the whole workout routine in the costume like that has to be so uncomfortable but they were they were just working really hard and I think that it's really cute because Kana is getting a glimpse of the kind of person that Ruby is and I hope that they can be good friends or maybe if not friends to have this kind of you know frenemy vibes because like I don't know I don't know maybe who knows, maybe Kana will end up with Aqua. So, you know, they should get along. 
<laughs> I swear that's not just wishful thinking speaking because they would look so cute together but anyway that is a whole other subject and yeah so it's just really great to see Kana discovering the kind of person that um, Ruby is and how much of I she can see in her because I was a big part of Sabrina's life and 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 you know she was also a really big part of Ruby's life because she was her mom so I I don't know it's just it's just really amazing it just brings me this heartwarming and also a heart-wrenching feeling whenever they get compared to I because there is so much of I that it's living through these kids so yeah it is sad but but it's really really sweet also uh, so yeah that was just like really really cute and really really fun and yeah I guess that basically that was the last episode so because last episode we didn't have any more leads in the investigation of the murder then maybe this episode we're going to get a little bit more information like maybe not information but you know something I don't know <laughs> Because there are only 11 episodes in this in this season, which I, oh my god, I don't know, I don't even know how this season is going to end. And, like, I think that the second season is coming out, I'm not really sure if it's the second season or like season 1 part 2, I'm not really sure. But I think that it's coming out on January or February something like that more or less so i am really excited about that and not having to wait so much but yeah i think that's it so yeah if you're watching this on youtube this is going to be a highlighted reaction but if you want to catch the full length uncut unedited reactions i'm going to leave you my patreon account in the description box down below and feel free to check it out we are a bunch of episodes ahead in there as well and i think that's it so without further ado let's just jump into this reaction shall we Wow! How romantic! <laughs> wait, wait, what? I knew that it was a part of the show. <laughs> I just knew it. It was so dramatic. And we have seen her. She's cunning. I like her. But I, I need to see what was. What, 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 what the title said. <laughs> Like, this is so over the top. I love it. Uh, will Juki really step down from the show? A shocking development is in store for these two. Dum dum dum. God. <laughs> they are making me want to watch this damn show. Because, like... <laughs> damn. <laughs> that was really dramatic. <laughs> Uh, yeah. あ、もうストンスも待ちまちかな。いや、いろいろインテレスティング。自分の役割果たすのに精一杯でそんな余裕がいや。恋愛リアリティショーは今まで見たことなかったから不勉強でさ。いろいろ偏見から入ったわけなんだけど、リアルを売りにするだけはある。うん。想像してたよりやらせが
ユキをめぐる三角関係が成立する。Oh! ユキとユキの機能が機能し、その小悪魔っぷりが番組を盛り上げ、中高生を中心に人気を獲得していった。Huh! That is really interesting! Uh, wait. I want to believe she and Nobukun will get together, but she'll likely end up with Kengo. <laughs> oh my god, the theories though! That sounds so much like the conversations in Twitter when there is like, I don't know, <laughs> a man who a about a love triangle. Like, yeah, that is the vibe that you get, isn't it? Because the more. the, the, the Nobu seems to be. I mean, like, I don't know how much of it is a show or for not or for show or not, but okay. So Nobu's personality seems to be more like you know happy and carefree, and he believes in love. So yeah, that is usually the second male lead. And Kengo, we haven't seen a lot of him like on camera,、uh, but he seems to be like the mysterious type, you know, like. And that is usually your male lead. So, yeah, actually, that is very true. That is on point about how these discussions end up being in the fandoms.、Uh, who will Yuki choose? I'm pretty partial to Kengo. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of people thinking that she will end up with Kengo. I was thinking, like, Nobu was like a really solid option because of how much time they are apparently spending on screen. But I don't know. It's really interesting. <laughs> She's really focused. I, am, I admire that. Like that kind of dedication. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, honey. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, I love both of them. I love both of them. Oh, no. Oh, honey. Oh. <sighs> Seems like it. Oh, so much you banda shine. Kimotiwa wakaruketo, betsuni sonanja. But as you are doni come at the Keka no costai dake. Oh, honey, so demo, so as a senayo. Oh, that's you are tashiga medazio di tataka. What it sounds like. I mean, like, it's a dog eat dog world, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey. Well, that she's willing to take the risk and. Yeah. Like, she goes for it. And she. She's a white lotus. Like, you know, she has that. <laughs> God! Honey, you need to do something. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. She. Oh. Oh, honey. Oh, oh, babe. Oh, oh, babe. Oh, babe. Oh, babe. みんなの期待に応えようとしてちょっと向いてないことしようとしてなんかわからなくなったんでしょ I mean, like, that is true, but 
I feel like she's saying it to, you know. Okay. Well, I think that it's jealousy. It's complicated. As a fan of love now, hear me out. You should have just stayed in the shadows. Damn, they are cruel. And yeah, Aqua knows that better than most people. Like, yeah, that's why I don't know how to feel about um, what, what, what's her name? Juki? Jui? Uh, because there is a lot of things that she's doing so she can appear, you know, her persona, her presence, her flow. Everything is just really carefully curated and in a, a specific kind of light. So, yeah. This just... This just serves her to have even more of a presence in social media. And for fans to love her even more. And yeah, this is just messed up. Okay. Without incident until the show was over, so why did you have to get in the way at the last minute? Don't involve others in your selfish hysterics. You're a nuance to the show. Damn. They are being really rough and... <sighs> yeah, she seems to be the kind of girl that really takes external pressure and anxiety. So I am really worried for her. You should have just stayed in the bottom to your idol. Once you lay a hand on someone, your life's over, right? Please never show your face again. Like, it, it's just... Sometimes in the internet, in the internet, it's just such a unrealistic black and white explanation for everything. Like, life has a lot of nuances. And yeah, damn. The pathetic desperation with which she tried to make a comeback in the show's final stages was plain to see. She should have just quit before pulling a stunt like that. Why did the show ever select a girl like her? <sighs> oh, this is hard. Who's Akane? It's like, wait, you were on the show? <laughs> oh, God. Never before on this show has someone been so completely finished. You suddenly show up and cause trouble for everyone. And with that attitude of yours, your personality is a lost cause. Damn. And they don't even know her. That is a thing that that you don't usually think when you're criticizing um, a person. A, a, a person, a media person who is, you know, out there <laughs> doing her life because, like, they don't know. They don't know her. They don't know how hard working she is. How, how earnest she is. Oh god, this is just destroying me. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> <笑>批判の意見なんて見なきゃいいのに全部の意見を真正面から真摯に受け止めようとするから。<笑> そんなことあるはずなくて。あかね、大丈夫顔色悪いわよ。大丈夫。明日学校休む大丈夫。行く。あ、ベイブ。あかねの見たやばくない?いつかやると思ってた。なんか言ってよ。ガールがあるから後が
今頃囲いの男どもに慰めてもらってんでしょありそう<laughs> Honey, things are just really bad for her right now. Akane, I can't get it. 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 こんなやつは何やっても無駄なんだよね。友達いなさ。周りとうまくやれてなくて、人間性の薄っぺらさが出てるよね。あたさき考えないバカな子じゃん。男に関われて、気に入らないことがあるとすぐヒステリーになるわ
why this has to be especially hard for Aqua? Because of I... <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I had that in the back of my mind when she was receiving all of this harsh criticism and in, in, in all of the social media. And I was thinking, damn, uh, that is exactly, well, not exactly, but that is a lot of what I went through after she died. And what Ruby was saying in that first episode. But just now, just now that I was talking about it, it clicked to me. It, 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 it clicked. Like... <laughs> anyway. Oh, God. Anyway, I really thought that she was... You know, she was just, yeah. For a split second there, I really thought, oh god, she's going to die. Because, like, don't get me wrong, if this were, if, if this was a normal show, I would usually just think uh, there is no way that she's going to die. But we are talking about Oshinoko. Oshinoko, who killed, who I sup was assuming to be the the main character in the first episode so yeah forgive me if i am not very trusting of this show because i feel like anyone could die potentially because like our two main characters died in the first episode as well yeah they got reincarnated but that probably doesn't happen for everyone so i just think that anyone at any given point could die Maybe not anyone, but, you know, like, that is not out of the question for this show. Not necessarily. And, God, that hit so hard. That was just... That was just so much. In a, in a great, amazing sense. But it was so much. And I feel so bad for this girl. <laughs> because, yeah, public opinion is just going to turn to you. They're going to turn against you in a split second. And... And the anon anonymity of the internet really makes people their worst most of the time like don't get me wrong there are a lot of amazing great things about social media and the things that are obtainable about it about how 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 there are a lot of cases of people just reaching out and helping out each other and that is amazing and i love that but at the same time there are a lot of people that are just willing to show their worst on social media because they are not face to face that they are just willing to say things like go kill yourself and go die like we saw in the episode just because she accidentally slapped someone like i get it. it it sounds bad but people are so quick to judgment without knowing basically anything like it is crazy it, it, it has always been crazy to me how people feel overprotective and like they actually knew the celebrities for who they are. Like they were actually friends and they hang out every weekend by the way that they are talking about them. When in reality, we don't even know who they are as people. Like we have glimpses, we have ideas, but we don't really know who they are outside of the little thing that li well little or not so little thing that they usually end up giving us as the audience but they are just there are just so many mean spirited people so quick to judgment like in which i guess that that is always what's baffled about me what's always baffled me about bullying because like in which universe exactly does a slap equals yeah you should die like 
what? Like, if we were talking about something more serious, like, I don't know, animal cruelty, and, you know, it was, like, proven, I would be like, yeah, no, uh, that person should probably die, because I am really interested in <laughs> animal rights, but, you know, like, a slap? Like, there are so many things, you know, there is so much nuance, like, this, for example, was an accident, and okay, you can argue that the people that are watching, they don't know, they just came to their own conclusions, and, and yeah, the show is portraying everything in this light, and I just think that it's amazing how the show is portraying all of these very real problems in the show, in the anime, because it is important that we are raising awareness and about how hard things can be. But oh my god, I... That whole scene in the bridge was... So heartbreaking. And yeah, of course, it had to be Aqua. <laughs> Who else? Aqua has this... I don't know, this persona, this air about him. That it's like, really... I don't know if I would call it cold and indifferent. I mean, like, yeah, sure, it could come out that way, but it's it has a lot more nuances than that. But what always amazes me about Aqua is that there are a lot of layers to him. <laughs> like, it's not just, oh yeah, he's just cold and indifferent, and the only thing that he cared about was I, because we have, we have seen him care about Ruby a lot, and form bonds, and, you know just show that that you know he's capable of doing a lot for the people around him and i mean like it makes sense he was a doctor right and even with all of this stigma about idols and how they are not even allowed to have i don't know romantic partners um even when he was not really sure how to feel about that and you know there is a lot of that it's probably because of the environment that he grew up as well grew, grew up in uh even then he was like you know what it's it's fine if that's what you want to do even then i'm going to still support you because i am your fan and i don't know there's just there's just something about aqua that really makes him a really interesting character of course it's he's a really really great male lead, male lead because he's really smart and he's really intelligent and driven and yeah all of those things are really really true but he's also one of those male leads that you can't help but to understand and that you know do these kind of things like saving someone from save from from jumping out of a bridge and you're like yeah that makes sense and i don't know i just i'm just <laughs> i'm just really i just really enjoy so much aqua's character i enjoy all of these characters and yeah aqua is just one of my favorites so i love aqua but anyway uh Another thing that I wanted to talk about was that girl, Juki, Jui, Judy. I'm pretty sure that it's Juki, but I'm not extremely sure. Like, I'm pretty sure, but not extremely sure. Well, yeah, she is an interesting character because, yeah, the show piece is brutal. You have to have killing instinct. Like, it's you first, and you second, and then the other ones, maybe in third or fourth place. And you need to do what is best for your reputation, and you know what, if... Like, she's not throwing anyone under the bus, but she's not letting things happen either. Like, she's like, yeah, okay, it's fine, I get that you want to be more in the show, but you know what, I'm not going to allow you, because I am kind of the star. And you know what, like, 
that that's fine. I understand where that sentiment is coming from. I I I understand she she's willing to do I'm not really sure if I should say whatever it takes because we haven't actually seen her, like I was saying, throwing anyone under the bus. She's just keeping this really what what I feel like a really calculated act for the audiences but also for her peers and I don't know how much of it it's an act and how much of it is her personality just like she is you know like she seems to be really cutthroat in some situations but not mean I don't know I really want to know more about her because I I'm not really sure how to feel about her. She is willing to, you know, you know, like be there and put herself out there for her to be a star. And I admire that. That is the kind of business you are in. And I am not going to blame her for that. But I, I guess that I'm just really curious to see how much she's willing to take as a risk how much of her personality is for the cameras how much of it is you know like i i am really curious to to see more about her and our girl she's going through so much in this episode this episode was basically focused around her and that is really interesting i want to know how aqua knew where she was if she it, it, like maybe she maybe he didn't know maybe maybe it was a really fortunate coincidence that he was you know like I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, why, 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 why was he, he there in that precise moment? Like, don't get me wrong. I am super grateful that he was there. But I want to know how. You know, I want to maybe retract some of the stuff that was happening in this episode, but from Aqua's perspective now, because we saw a lot from her perspective, and it was so heart wrenching to see someone that is so hard working and so earnest be swept on this bullshit tornado because yeah and she is she's fragile she she shouldn't be <laughs> ego surfing oh well this is the contrary thing of ego surfing and and it, it is hard. She she has a lot to learn. And I really want to see how she's going to do in next episode. Because I have to assume that things like this, anxiety like this, public opinion, it's just not going to change overnight. She is going to have to do a lot of hard work and just... Like, for her, not for the public. Fuck the public. But for her and her self-esteem and and make some friends you know like maybe she could be friends with aqua you know they are both in need of friends <laughs> so yeah now I, I i am just really curious about how she's going to take things in the next episode because i am really worried for her i like maybe she will realize like there are two i guess that there are two paths that the, sec that the next episode could lead us on the first one is that she is still very pretty much depressed but she doesn't feel the immediate desire of killing herself like like there when 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 you are going through that and you have a near death experience when you are suicidal but you don't die sometimes it happens that you are like what was i thinking yeah life sucks right now but i don't want to do that like i don't want to do that i i am maybe not i don't know like people think i i am not strong enough to do that i i am you just like sink more in depression but not actually trying to harm yourself actively or the other the other thing is that yeah maybe maybe she 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 continues you know down that path so I'm, I'm pretty sure that she's going to still be really depressed and anxious and in this self loading hurricane of feelings but but yeah she needs a support system she needs to tell her mom what's going on she needs to have a really long break from social media because 
yeah, it will die down eventually. Like, as much as things blew up in the internet, they just get forgotten really easily as well. And yeah, it will resurface when you are doing another job because that's just how things are. But you know, just the best thing for mental health is just not be on social media at this point until you are feeling better and you have given the whole situation some time to chill because there are not a lot of things that she can do right now in this state of mind that will not hurt her more than help her so yeah i am i i just hope for the best because she she seems so great and her manager is so great and 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 i i just want the best for them <laughs> they i have i have adopted them both of them they yeah no i want to protect both of them and uh, my poor girl she's going through so much But yeah, yeah, it was such an intense, great, amazing episode. Like, wow. And we are almost done with the filming and whatever of this uh, dating show. So we are closer to getting the lead that we so desperately want. I am dying to see the next episode because I need to know what's going to... Sorry, what's going to happen with my girl. Like... God damn. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to leave a like or a comment. Anything you want could be highly appreciated. And if you want to know when I upload my reactions, I'm going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below and feel free to check it out. I guess that's it. So we'll be seeing each other on the next reaction. Bye!